This is DNN. Definitely not news. Number 50, actually. Quite a milestone, in my opinion, but... Hey, that's just my opinion. If you agree, cool. If not, well, I'm going to keep going anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much to my friends Jasper Dean and Polaris for contributing music for me to use, because I am not a musical man. As far as I can tell. And if you'd like to contribute background music for the show, let me know. Maybe I'll put it in one and see how it goes. If it's any good, and if you don't mind. Stuff like that. So, getting on with things. Who wants to hear some ridiculous, and most all of them are true, headlines that are available for me right now? Okie dokie. Harvard faculty is upset that students will not pay $70,000 for online-only education. Of course not. They're looking for interactivity and, you know, actual learning. They just wanted to watch videos, they could just watch YouTube and, you know, print themselves a degree and stuff like that. Oregon Strip Club pivots to preparing food and as its dancers deliver it. I suppose that'd be good because there's already a no-touching rule, you know, in the classier strip joints that aren't friends for prostitution. Iranian missile strikes its own ship, killing 19 sailors and wounding 15. Well, that's just unfortunate, but... What'd they do, put it in backwards? Light a bonfire on the ship and then launch a heat seeker? I mean, we're going to assume someone in the chain of command is getting fired for that. Former Montreal nurse who says she faked symptoms so she could get tested for the COVID-19 tests positive. So, you know, mind over matter? Apparently that works. Just never when you want it to. Man ordered to stay away as court hears he believes cork art collage is a portal to another dimension. You know what? Let him jump through. If it is true, maybe we can all leave this place with the horrible virus. If it's not true, let's film it and watch his reaction when he finds out it's not true. That could be funny. Robot dogs patrol a Singapore park to enforce social distancing. Being chased by real dogs is bad enough. No robot dogs? And hey, Pre-recorded barking is just so off-putting. Imagine if this is why Skynet gets so indignant. <laughs> Britain's richest men, worth 22 billion do pounds, not dollars, use taxpayers' cash to furlough staff. Does that seem wrong to you? Seems wrong to me. I wonder what would happen if the British government actually started taxing these people. They wouldn't stay rich for long. Bulls bid to scratch his itchy hindquarters cuts off power to 800 homes in his local area. I'm guessing that he just backed into a power line and uh, knocked it over. Poor thing. What if he got a splinter? He'd be very upset and all that jazz. <sighs> Poor thing. Even worse. He's going to be hamburger soon. So, these were all the headlines I could find for now. Anyone can figure out when I'm lying if you want to. I just ask you don't use search engines because that's not fair. If you can figure it out, leave a comment in the comments. Or else would you leave them, honestly? Maybe you'll win something. Draw is at the end of every month. Thank you for watching.